The partnership between the National Agricultural Research Organization and Consultative Group on International Agricultural Research is intended to come up with solutions to problems which affect farmers at grassroots level. We are optimistic as a country that we will be able to learn from what has happened in the past, strengthen the present scores, and also work closely with our national partners to create more impact for our people. I am encouraged because of having listened to what you have presented that issues like climate adaptation and mitigation will be addressed, environmental health and biodiversity, gender equality, youth and social inclusion. The partnership aims at driving research, which will help improve quality of crop and animal varieties and further suit the changing climatic conditions. We start combining, finding mothers and fathers, for example, some that are more nutritious for animals and some that are very good at resisting pest pressure. And we start crossbreeding them together. We start getting new grasses that get the benefits of the mothers and fathers and therefore become much better uh, at, at production. The Deputy Director General in charge of research, Dr. Yona Baguma, says it is through partnerships and research that the country has been able to overcome issues of food scarcity. Today, as you go past Kafo River, you will see the most popular cassava. That cassava, we were able to develop it in partnership with ITA. When you go to eastern Uganda, Paris and many other areas, you will see many other cassava plants were able to develop in partnership with ITA. So what gives thanks to ITA for having worked with the NARO to develop that solution? In the case of banana, we had a similar ravaging disease of banana bacteria wild. We were not prepared again to manage it well as Uganda. And we had to move again together with our government partners, by Basta and many others in Basta across the world, and were able to get a solution for people in this country. Without banana, you can hardly talk of food security in this country. National Agricultural Research Organization Management says they are coming up with forages which are not only nutritious, but also help increase on animal production. We want to tell farmers in Uganda that unlike 50 or 30 years ago where we let our animals just go out and eat the natural grass, the genetics in our animals today cannot allow us to just feed with local grass. We, as the research scientists, have been have you know come up with varieties that match the genetics in the animal so we have forages that are good for you that are drought tolerant disease resistant and with enough nutritive quality that you require to have more milk and more meat mary namkose ubc news